Hello Aries, thank you so much for checking out this video. This will be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general reading, so it won't resonate with every Aries watching. So feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. All right, Aries. So for today's reading, I'm doing things a little bit different. I'm going to be um, pulling from these two, or I'm going to be splitting the deck for these Oracle cards because I've already shuffled them off screen just to save some time. Um, I'm going to be doing a past, present, future spread. And even though it's a past, present, and future spread, keep in mind that timing is fluid. Um, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So whatever situation I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future. So let's split these decks and see what we have for you guys. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Moon, Venus. All right. Higher power. Love it. I'm going to read that oracle card because these oracle cards have a special relationship message with each of them All right for aries wow anxiety definitely going to clarify this one just to see what that's all about someone's anxious and i feel like they're they've been asking for spiritual guidance here movement at the bottom of the deck well, i'm definitely going to clarify this anxiety card separately here because so i want to know what that's all about so let's start there aries huge thank you to everyone who has liked commented subscribed i read all of your comments and i really appreciate it spirit what message do you have for aries regarding love messages for aries please in regards to love so i'm just gonna sh oh my gosh I'm just going to shuffle and whenever a card comes out, then that's, well, actually, never mind. I'm not going to do that for you guys because I want to clarify this anxiety card. Tell me about this anxiety oracle card, Spirit. What's this about for Aries? What is this anxiety card all about for Aries? For Aries. This is anxiety card. Okay, could be an um, Aquarius that you're dealing with. And haven't I been saying and mixing up Aquarius and Aries in my readings recently? Um, I feel like this is confirmation that I'm not crazy. Some of you are healing from a situation or trying not to lose faith in a situation. Tell me about this anxiety card for Aries. Wheel of Fortune, one more please for Aries. What's this anxiety card all about temperance? Okay, three major arcana right off the bat for this anxiety card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, whatever it is, there is a huge change happening that's probably causing anxiety for you. Something has shifted for you. I feel like you're trying to regain your balance here. You're trying to regain your footing due to this change. And, and I feel like you're struggling a little bit with that. Some of you are losing faith in a situation. Some of you are trying to keep faith in a situation, trying to stay spiritually grounded here with the higher power. Um, let me read the higher power card real quick. Number four, number about stability and structure. Okay, so for relationship, it's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there's a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. Interesting. A spiritual bond with someone. So why are you anxious, Aries? Messages for Aries. Oh, sorry guys, those are my dogs. Messages for Aries. All right, Aries, so what I've been doing with the other readings is I just start shuffling and whenever a card comes out, I stop shuffling and just lay down, they lay down the cards. Wow, four of wands, four and four with higher power there. Ace of swords. Page of Pentacles. Huh. 
I'm going to clarify all of these. Page of Wands, Messages, Messages, Communication, Two of Swords, The Lovers, Well, Hello, King of Cups, Okay, Eight of Pentacles, Finally here, Four of Pentacles, Bottom of the Deck, The Magician. Okay, Aries, right away I see communication here, possibly from a water sign, a Gemini, or a an earth sign. Um, some of you are in a commitment already or are wanting a commitment. I am going to clarify and see. Um, this could be in, relates, in relation to like something in the home. Um... I feel like there's been some sort of new clarity or truth that has come out in a situation or something that you, you've been wanting to cut off here. And I feel like you are, whatever this communication was, I think it's causing anxiety here because whatever communication this is or was, it's going to change things. Some of you are focused down here with the Eight of Pentacles, um, probably on your finances. Um, or just so focused on what you have to do that you're not very open um, with your heart right now or are not thinking about that. But I just don't understand why, because someone here is in love. I have the King of Cups. I have the Lovers. I have two pages here. One that wants, that's very attracted to you. There's a chemistry here, attraction. Um, one that wants to take you out, invite you somewhere nice, or just be really sincere about where they want to take this. I feel like you're manifesting something here. Maybe this, this communication, um, maybe this person, this King of Cups, you're manifesting something here. So let's get, oop, just messed up my cards. Let's get to the bottom of this with this beautiful new deck. I'm gonna clarify. Help me clarify these messages for Aries spirit. Help me clarify messages for Aries please Aries hopefully I haven't said Aquarius <laughs> at any time during this week this reading um tell me about the magician spirit what's this magician all about thank you three of cups what's this magician all about please tell me more spirit tell me more Okay, so we got three of cups right away, king of pentacles, and strength. Now, energies can be vice versa, so I'm going to be saying someone or the other person just fit it however it fit it resonates in your situation right so someone here has manifested a reunion with possibly a leo or an earth sign towards Virgo capricorn this person i feel like is very stable or just has a good job or is really good with money um this person could also be in a leadership role of some sort doesn't have to be um I feel like with the strength card, um, someone here needs courage or strength to deal with whatever's happening here. Probably they need confidence, if this is a reunion, to approach someone. Um, probably they need courage to make an offer here. But someone here has manifested commitment, reunion. I mean, I see it very clearly. Bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Pentacles. So definitely someone's manifesting an offer from a King of Pentacles type energy. I don't know who that is. Let me know in the comments if you already know this person. Tell me about the, oh my God, the magician just popped up again. Tell me about the Four of Wands. You could be also manifesting this Four of Wands because I was thinking about the Four of Wands. Tell me about the Four of Wands. 
What's this Four of Wands about for Aries? The world. Tell me more. What an interesting reading. Tell me more about the Four of Wands, please. I feel like this might be a long reading. Tell me more about the Four... Okay. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, Hangman. Well, there's a lot of water energy here. You could definitely be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like someone has had clarity here regarding what choice they need to make about who they love. And this is something I keep getting with these readings. Someone having clarity about an offer they want to make regarding how they feel. So King of Cups is a very, and I have King of Cups twice here, by the way, he's down here. Um, this King of Cups person is very in tune with their emotions. They are caring, compassionate, giving. Um, I feel like they want to, to, to share how they feel. They want to communicate how they feel here. Um, they've probably been thinking, daydreaming, um, They've probably been the one that's manifesting this too. Um, but they've been kind of, maybe they've had options in the past and it's like they, they picked one of these cups to give to someone else. Or they've been stuck in, 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 in their head about this with the hangman and the eight of cups, almost or seven of cups, sorry. Almost like they can't decide how to do this, how to approach someone else. But there's a new cycle here. So I feel like, there's something that has ended or something that has begun here. Um, and I don't know why you're anxious. I really don't know why you're anxious. It could be that you're dealing with two people here. Bottom of the deck, I have the 10 of wands. Again, someone has ended something here. And I keep getting that in my readings. I don't know if the energies are just kind of like piggybacking off each other or something, but I keep getting the message that someone is ending something or putting down a burden in order to go for something new. I feel like this might be a similar reading for you, Aries. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. I don't know, this Mercury retrograde has something to do with it. This Moon in Virgo comes. See, and just as I say that, there's the Six of Swords. Someone's had clarity about something and it's and it's heading, they're, they're leaving a situation, five of pentacles, four of swords. Okay, so someone has really thought about this. Someone has cut out something here and, or has had a realization about something here. Um, they've healed from a situation where there was struggle, there was probably isolation, um, no warmth is what I'm getting as well because these people are like in front of a fire trying to get warm so I'm getting that there's probably was a cold connection um or someone was just kind of like tired of what they've been they were going through here and they're leaving that energy and there's a six of cups Jesus could be someone from the past with a reunion here doesn't have to be it could also be a past life connection but again that's the message i've been getting for a lot of the signs i don't think it'll be different with you okay tell me about the page of pentacles okay the hermit again with the thinking could be a virgo making an offer here there's the two of cups someone's thinking about their soulmate who they want to make an offer to here tell me more about the page of pentacles please what else about this page of pentacles for Aries? Five of swords. Interesting. Someone's possibly, okay, so someone here ha could have withdrawn from this five of swords energy. A loss or defeat here. Something that didn't go their way with the five of swords. They withdrew and they realized, like, it's almost like they withdrew to figure out, yeah, there's a nine of wands. They've been through something and they've healed from the situation. They've listened to their inner voice. 
they've gone on a, on a personal journey of self-discovery here. And even though they, they're tired and they're ex like almost like exhausted from having to protect themselves, having to be paranoid about a situation, having to be anxious about a situation here, um, they're not giving up. They're going to still try to make even a small offer. Tell me about the page of wands. Yeah, six of wands. This person wants victory. Tell me about the two of swords. What's this two of swords about? Someone either does not going to see this coming, five of wands, or they're stuck in some drama here with the five of wands. Tell me more about the two of swords. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Okay, first of all, we have the Tower and Eight of Cups. See, what am I telling you? Someone's walking away from something that blew up here. Someone's probably were going back and forth about leaving the situation. Four of Pentacles, I feel like someone kept this to themselves or is just very protective right now of their heart um, due to this Tower moment. Um, also, someone could have just not been speaking. Um, again, I'm getting the sense of someone not like keeping something to themselves, not seeing something coming their way because someone else didn't speak up. Um, but possibly this person, you know, they, they were back and forth about leaving a situation, but this tower moment could have come in and forced their hand possibly. Bottom of the deck, I have the three of pentacles. So this could have been a third party situation for some of you. For others of you, this is going, this tower came down for you to build something else back up again. Tell me about the lovers. Could be a Gemini that you're dealing with, but this is more than anything. This is love, a very, um, how do I say it? A very passionate and special union here. Two of wands. Again with the decisions. We had the two of wands somewhere here, I think, didn't we? No, we didn't. What do we have up here? I think we just had the two. Okay, two of wands, two of swords and two of wands. Okay, so definitely someone here um, unable to make a decision. Queen of Cups into the deck. Tell me more, please, about this lovers. Someone could be deciding between two people. I have the lovers and I have the two of wands. I have two people in each of those cards. King of wands, okay. Could be an Aries, Leo, Jesus. Hold on. The Empress. Interesting. Someone could be seeing you as an Empress. You could be seeing someone else as an Empress. But it could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Gemini that you're dealing with. But someone here has is going to take action. Um, they want their empress or vice versa. They want love because I have the king of cups right after that. And right before that, I have someone walking away, wanting victory here, wanting to send a message here. The empress is usually a mother or wife figure in the tarot. Someone could have been in a long-term commitment. For some of you, someone was already married and they got out of that or they were in a long-term commitment with someone and they got out of that for others of you someone wants to grow something with you they see you as a very special attractive nurturing type of person um someone to grow with ten of wands at the bottom of the deck again with the tens and the endings and all of this someone's putting down a burden getting to the finish line here i feel like this burden was this change that happened due to this tower, this six of swords energy, this having to leave a situation that was exhausting. Tell me about the king of cups. Tell me about the king of cups. Oh, man, I say that and there is the 10 of swords. This is a lot of cards, but I feel like I'm, I'm being told to pick them up. So I'm going to. Ten of Swords. Again, with the ending. Queen of Swords. Someone definitely cut something out here. Ten of Wheels. Could have been a commitment that was cut out here or ended. And Seven of Wands. So I feel like this King of Cups energy got out of a commitment. And is now defending what they feel is theirs. Wanting to put effort into something here. 
But I have the Four of Pentacles here. Someone possibly from the past could not let go of this connection and that's why they're coming in to make an offer now that they've walked away from something. Or someone has not communicated this yet, that they want this to happen. So this might be a surprise to you with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, but, you know, that's what I'm seeing here with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords with the Ten of uh, Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. Someone fighting for possibly their freedom or fighting for a better life. Um, fighting for love is also what I'm getting here with the King of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the lovers. Yeah, this person has the lovers, this union on their mind. That's why they're doing all this. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. About the Eight of Pentacles. Oh, I only wanted one, but I guess I'm getting two. Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands. Communication. Two eights here. Communication, passionate communication, um, communication about action, about taking action. Again, with the fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a lot of people on this board, by the way. I have a hermit. I have a king of cups up here. I have um, king of pentacles. I have a king of cups again. I have queen of swords. I have queen of wands. There could be a lot of people involved in this situation. That's why I'm thinking third party. Possibly, possibly family um, interfering or a friend group interfering because I have the five of wands here. Again, people, lots of people. Um, but whatever the case, someone here is going to communicate that they want to work on something. They want to put an effort on something here. You could have possibly met this person at work for some of you. There's temperance at the bottom of the deck. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with. I have temperance twice here. Um, someone has healed from whatever this happened here. Someone's trying to restore balance here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Whoa, that is way too many. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles, please. What's this Four of Pentacles about? Spirit, tell me about this Four of... I want that one. Five of Cups. Sadness. The Chariot. The Chariot wanted to come out earlier. One more, please. One more. For this four of pentacles wow the devil seven of pentacles and the page of cups <sighs> okay first of all what i see is the similarity between these two cards the cherry and the devil someone wants to move away from this toxic energy this entrapment this mental entrapment probably an unhealthy attachment um, an unhealthy attachment that caused them to close up is what I'm getting. Something that made them very sad with the Five of Cups. This person could also be thinking about the past and regretting that they went down this road with the devil here. That things didn't work out the way they expected. Um, I feel like they're also in protection mode because it's like I don't really have... I have to protect myself because this has gone completely like out of control here. There's anxiety. Again, I cannot stop thinking about the anxiety card. Seven of, yeah. See, this person with the seven of pentacles, I am keep getting the seven of pentacles in these readings. Um, someone's looking at what they've planted and wondered if they made the right decision or if something's going to come something positive is going to come from what the seeds they've planted for some of you this person is going to realize they put all their eggs in the wrong basket for others of you this person is going to want to invest in something that will actually grow with the empress and that's why they're going to make their offer with the page of cups but i feel like this person has not moved yet has not made a move yet has not spoken up has, has is still keeping this to themselves for others of you, this person has not let go of the connection that you two had. Um, and that's why, you know, when all of this went down, it's like you were the first thing they thought about is what I, I'm, I'm seeing here. What I don't see here is whether you're going to accept. That will be up to you. Um, yeah, temperance again. So I feel like 
this is probably something you didn't see coming Aries you probably were not prepared for it I feel like this could be you here with the Queen of Wands or the King of Wands here you weren't prepared of prepared for probably what happened or is happening um, and you know you might be a little bit anxious about this or it could be the other person that's anxious about making this offer it could go either way I'll leave it there Aries thank you so much for checking out this video I hope that this resonated with some of you if it did leave me a comment love to read your comments and um, I'll see you guys in my next video take care